Good morning and welcome back to the second of our Advent videos uh, where each morning we'll be looking at the Christmas story as we count down to Christmas and the real reason to celebrate, which is, of course, Jesus. It's me again making this video, but don't worry, this is the last you'll see of me for a while. As starting from tomorrow, we'll have a different member of the church family who will be bringing these devotional videos to us. So let me pray for us and then I'll read today's passage from Luke's Gospel. Let's pray. Lord God, I pray that you will speak to us this morning through your word going out via the internet. Father, uh, may we get to understand more about you, again, not just in our heads, but in our hearts as well. Help us to realise what a delight and what a joy we can have in Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, our reading this morning is from Luke chapter 1, verses 11 to 14. Luke chapter 1, verses 11 to 14. And it goes like this. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and gripped by fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. Hey, I'm going to do, do a little video. It's just a little video for church, don't worry. Hey. Hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Hi everybody, this is Maximus and I was gonna have I was gonna have Moses with me. He's not too keen on being on camera. I was gonna have Moses with me as well, but some of you have heard about mine and Emma's new kittens, of which he is the liveliest one. I've never really been a cat person to be honest. I'm much more of a dog person. Emma's always had kittens and we said once we once we moved to Leyland we'd get some. And hi Moses. I can't tell you what a delight and what a joy I, I found having kittens. I, I, I didn't expect it, um, but it has been, I, I adore them. I, I absolutely love them, even if they're quite disturbing when I'm trying to make little videos. The depth and joy of my delight when Emma and I got these kittens three months ago has made me realize that I just do not understand what it must be like to have a child. I adore these kittens. I can't imagine how Zechariah and Elizabeth felt when after so many years of trying, after so many years of praying, an angel tells them, you will have a son and he will be a delight and a joy to many. What a feeling that must have been. And not just any son, not just a teenage rascal, but a son who God has given an incredible purpose to. Look again at those verses, see what the angel says. Your prayer has been heard. Clearly, Zechariah and Elizabeth had been praying for a child. We see that in verse seven, that you know maybe they were getting on in their years a bit. Maybe they'd thought that God wasn't gonna answer their prayer and that their time had come and gone. But they'd clearly been praying for a long time. The Israelites had been praying for their Messiah for a long time. Zechariah and Elizabeth have been praying for a child for a long time. Sometimes we're called to pray for things for a very long time. I don't know your prayer life, but I know that in my life and I know in, a, in the Christian life, it can be hard to keep praying, to persevere in prayer when we don't get the answer we may want instantly. Often we can give up if God doesn't answer our prayers in our time. Sometimes we can even doubt that he loves and cares for us if he doesn't grant us our wishes or our prayers. Well, this morning I'm praying that I wouldn't give up on praying like Zechariah and Elizabeth, like the Israelites praying for their Messiah. Maybe that's something to think about. Are we persevering in prayer and seeing what God will do with them in his time, not our time? I wonder what you might be praying for at the moment the new PS5 for Christmas, a new job, good grades in the exams that we're having at the moment. Maybe you're praying just to see loved ones 
this time of year. Whatever we're praying for, let's not give up in prayer. But at the same time, praying to God is not like writing a list to Santa. We're not telling God what to do for us. We're trying to find his will for the world and see how we fit into it. God had promised to send the Messiah so the Israelites knew that prayer would get answered. And yet they prayed it anyway because it was important. It's important for us to match our hearts up with God's heart. Our wills, what we want, with what he wants and what he's going to do. This Christmas, let's pray for what God's involved in in the world rather than just telling him our shopping list. The Father in heaven is not Father Christmas to fulfill our wishes. He's the Father above who ultimately gives us everything we need. He is the bread of life and he's the one whom it is right and it is good to pray to in all circumstances. Whether he answers or not, whether it's a yes or a no or a not yet, we pray, we leave it with God and we trust him. That can be hard sometimes, but as we go through our countdown to Christmas in these morning videos, hopefully we'll see when God promises something, it works out well. Well, let's pray to him now as a church family. Let's gather in prayer before the Father above. Lord, this year has thrown things upside down in a way that none of us could have expected. We've struggled in lockdown, we've suffered through sickness, worried about work, we've lost loved ones, and all this on top of many daily struggles. And yet, and yet there is still delight and joy to be found in Jesus. And a delight and joy that, as, as Paul says in Romans 8, is beyond comparison with our earthly sufferings. What delight that is. What joy that brings. And so, Father, I pray that you would help us to keep coming to you in all situations, to persevere in prayer and to await you this Advent and as we celebrate this Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless and uh, please do join us tomorrow from 8am as we come back to follow the next story as we celebrate Christmas.